Okay Reefers, so welcome back to the channel. So this week I wanted to do a follow-up video actually to the last video I put up regarding dosing. And if you haven't already seen that, check out and basically go through what I'm dosing this reef tank. Now this video is going to be quite important because it covers the mistakes you might be making or about to make when it comes to dosing your reef tank. So this is going to appeal to all you new reefers out there and anyone sort of getting into the hobby with a reef tank and uh, it's quite a common thing I'm going to just cover there's lots of things that you can do wrong but I want to cover the main things that you probably might not understand and uh, will probably come to bite you later on if you uh, get these things wrong so the first one is going to be do you actually need to dose your tank now this is a common mistake that a lot of new reefers do with a new tank they've just set up they put their first coral in and they notice they get a little bit of an elk drop or the parameters move a little bit down Now this is quite common um, and it's usually not to do with good because you've put a, a coral in the tank now uh, if you just put a few soft corals or maybe one or two LPS corals the chances are of uh, your tank consuming much calcium alkalinity is very low um, and the chances are that you could go, you know, quite some time actually without having to dose, or maybe not at all, uh, depending on your water change routine. So the best thing to do is to stick with your water changes and just monitor your calcium and alkalinity weekly, just to see what happens. Now you might see a little bit of a, like I said, a little uh, dip in your alkalinity, but that's usually just because of uh, biological processes, etc. And it's not, you know, a, a cause for alarm to suddenly start, oh, I've got a dose of um, calcium alkalinity into the tank. Just let it, let the tank go and get into its groove and settle where it's going to want to be and just keep monitoring it. So it takes quite a quite a bit of time for calcium alkalinity to start dropping, really. You have to have quite a, quite a bit of coral stock and um, the other thing is you might notice a, a drop if you've got a lot of uh, coralline algae encrusted on your rock but chances are you haven't if you haven't bought you know live rock with it already present <clears throat> so that's the first mistake don't jump into dosing too quickly and you know just monitor things take things slow anyway so you'll know when you need to start dosing um, you know, you'll know you've got quite a bit of coral and you're, you're consistently trying to chase the alkalinity because it's just dropping week by week, you know, by a considerable amount. That's when you know, need to get on it, really. So, so you, if you, the other mistake, the next one, moving on to number two mistake, is if you're already dosing and your, your tank is consuming calcium alkalinity and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, you got to the stage where you, you're dosing. Now, chances are you're probably dosing a two-part solution or three-part calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. And you, what you've got a set of parameters in mind: um, your alkalinity at a certain level and your calcium at a certain level. And you're trying to chase those numbers to get them to to, to the right balance. Now, this is a common mistake, what people do. So, if I give you an example. So if your calcium's at say 450, 500, let's say 500, your calcium's at 500, but your alkalinity's at seven. Your first thought is, oh, my alkalinity's low, I wanna bring that up to nine. And uh, your, your, your first thought is, you've just got to get that alkalinity up by dosing more alkalinity. Well, the answer to that is no, that's, that's wrong, you shouldn't be doing that. What you should be doing is dosing more alkalinity and calcium you've got to dose them balanced. Because if you just dose alkalinity, eventually you'll send the tank down a road with, with a big in, uh, mineral, mineral imbalance where your alkalinity is just gonna keep going higher and higher and higher and driving your calcium down. So if you just dose alkalinity and calcium balanced, exactly the same amount, even though you don't need calcium, you need to dose both parts in equally. That's very, very important, a big mistake that a lot of people do regarding two-part dosing. So dose both in at equal amounts, and eventually, trust me, that your tank will balance out. Your alkalinity will come up, and your calcium will balance out to match it. 
So, just be careful of that one. That is probably the biggest one, biggest mistake. And a solution to that, I would highly recommend for a lot of you new guys out there is to go with a one part solution. Um, for example, like what I'm using on this reef um, by a company called Tropic Marin, it's the Orpha Reef, which doses in calcium alkalinity, magnesium and all the trace elements, all in a balanced ratio. So it prevents you guys from going down that road of sending your tank out of balance and out of whack. So the next one will be uh, your salt mix. Now you must choose a salt mix that has the right parameters or right levels of calcium alkalinity and magnesium that you want to run for your tank. So for example, if you want to run a, a well, I'll give you an example of mine, I want to run my alkalinity at 10, my calcium at 430, and magnesium around the 1300 mark. So I'm using Tropic Marin's Classic Salt which has them exact parameters. So every time I do a water change, I'm not changing the, the parameters of the tank at all. Um, so yeah, that's that's what you've got to do. You've got to match your salt to what parameters you're running because there's no good having a salt that's a completely different um, balance because every time you do the water change, you're going to be messing the figures up and down. Now, alkalinity is probably the, the major parameter to keep stable. Pick a number and stick with it. And trust me, if you can keep alkalinity really stable, then you're going to have a successful reef. Um, the, the calcium will look after itself as long as you dose it equally at the same time. So that's because covers really most uh, most things regarding mistakes on dosing for you new reefers out there. I just, I just thought I'd, I've got to put it out there because I've had quite a few comments of, from different people, messages and they're saying what they're dosing and i'm just thinking that that's that's wrong you know you're dosing calcium alkalinity imbalanced and eventually you're just setting yourself up for failure because the tank would just skew into to, into a complete imbalance and the only thing to correct that would be a massive water change um or series of water changes to try and get the back tank back on track again and well balanced so uh, hopefully I've helped some, you know, some people out, new, new people out there regarding this because you can soon run into problems if you're not doing this correctly. Like I say, the, the, the easiest solution to not get it wrong is just to use an all-in-one solution initially um, so you don't make them mistakes. So I hope, like I say, I hope it's helped a few people. Any questions, chuck them in the box below and um, hopefully I can uh, help you out. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe, hit the thumbs up, that's, uh, that'll be really appreciated, it helps me out guys, and I'll catch you in the next upload.